What is going on? Welcome back to the Crypto Labs YouTube channel. My name is Colin, and if you've been a part of this channel or in the UIG for, for some time, you'll notice that we have talked about a portfolio review section, and I love this section. It's one of my favorite parts of the UIG, and it's basically a group that we have created to allow members in the UIG to share their portfolios, to talk about the positions they're in, take screenshots of their tracking service so we can see realized results. And I just love this because it's a... Um, a database of positions, but then it's also great for strategy conversations and just talking with other investors who are actually doing it, like DeFi practitioners. So it's one of my favorite groups. And one of my one of the questions that I like to ask when I go in there, um, if a member hasn't already talked about it um, in their in their post, but one of my questions is, well, what are you doing with the rewards that you're earning? Because as a DeFi investor, we are providing liquidity or we're participating in a DeFi activity and we are getting paid to do so. So if we take our capital, put it inside of a liquidity pool to allow users to swap and trade in that pool, in that DEX, uh, we get paid a percentage of the fees. And so one of my questions that I like to ask is, hey, well, what are you doing with the rewards that you're earning from those positions? And what I believe is that as we set up our DeFi business and be, you know, our, our structure here, uh, and I'll show you kind of a few examples, that we want to have a designated strategy for every position that we're in because you hear me talk about it as DeFi. these DeFi positions are, are like businesses like they're their own cash flowing uh venture and so we want to make sure that we have a detailed plan that we create to again designate where we want the rewards to go to based on the goals that we have for our DeFi business. So with that being said, I'm going to share my screen and we'll dive into the seven things that are different, you know, seven strategies that you can use um, with the rewards that you're earning from these diff different DeFi positions. And as a little bonus, we'll show you the investor strategy section where I'll highlight one of my favorite uh, strategies for what I like to do with my rewards. So with that being said, before I do that, make sure you like, subscribe, do all that fun YouTube stuff. Uh, and with that being said, I'll share my screen and we'll dive in. Let's go. Okay, so we're here in the DeFi framework section inside of the UIG, and I'm going to go into phase four, which is our strategy for your collected rewards. And this is a framework that I created that will help you decide what you should do with the rewards that you're earning. Because again, we should have a designated plan for every position that we have. So if we have five the open DeFi positions, we should have five strategies for what we're doing with the rewards. Now, they could all be the same, but each one should have a, an intentional strategy for what you want to do. So let's let's dive into the seven different strategies here. The first one is that we can convert the rewards that we're earning into stable coins and hold them on the sidelines. And this would be good if your main goal is for cash flow or to um you know, either move it off chain. And that's actually one of the other strategies as well. But if you wanted to take those stables and convert it back to fiat and to uh, purchase something, that's great. But it's also great to have dry powder on the sidelines so that if an asset drops or dips in price, that you have dry powder in stable coins on the sidelines to be able to acquire that asset at lower prices. So having stable coins on the sideline is a, is a major pillar in the UIG. Number two is you can hold these assets in the reward tokens that you're earning and then hold those on the sideline or in your bull run portfolio, uh, generally in a cold storage wallet is what we recommend. So if you're earning ETH and Bitcoin inside of liquidity pool, one of the strategies is that you can just hold that ETH and hold that Bitcoin inside of your cold storage wallet on the sidelines. Number three is you can convert the rewards that you're earning into another asset and then hold it. So if you're in a... Um, uh, ETH and USDC pool, well, you can convert that USDC into ETH and then hold that on the sideline so that if you want to increase your ETH exposure, that's a strategy that you can do. Uh, number four, which is one of my favorites, and I'll highlight this in a minute, but converting the assets that you're earning into different assets and then creating a new DeFi position, a new liquidity pool position. I like this strategy a lot because it's very similar to opening up a new franchise or a new location inside of your empire, right? So I live in Texas, so I think of uh, Whataburgers or, or Chick-fil-A's or, um, uh, you know, uh, laundromats or um, what are those called there? Um, car washes, right? Like you have a, a cash flowing business. Well, you can take the profits that you're earning from one business and then open up a new location. So I'll talk about that strategy more in depth here in a minute, but that's one of uh, another strategy that you can do. Number five here is that you can use the rewards that you're earning to participate in other DeFi activities like lending and staking. So I like this strategy a lot as well 
then it's very similar to what Lucas talks about, about his yield on yield strategy, is you can take the rewards that you're earning and then put them into a lending protocol or a staking protocol to then earn rewards on top of those uh, assets that you've earned as a, a Lucas actually in the, uh, in the chat here. That's funny. Uh, number six is you can compound back into the same position. One thing to note here, though, is that if you are compounding your rewards back into the same position and you are auto rebalancing or you are frequently rebalancing, that locks in a lot of impermanent loss. And so what I've seen a few times in the UIG is members compound their position and have tight ranges and they're constantly rebalancing that act of rebalancing is going to lock in impermanent loss. And so if we're rebound, if we're compounding and rebalancing, you might notice that the total value of that pool doesn't retain its value well because of the rebalancing feature. So just really be aware of what you're doing with the fees. Um, if you're compounding, it works better with a wider range, tighter ranges usually you know, lead to, you know, constant rebalancing. So that's just one thing to note uh, if you're going to do that strategy. Uh, but there are other platforms out there that have this, you know, yield aggregators that have this strategy to, uh, you know, allow you to auto compound more frequently. And then number seven is taking profit, converting that back to a fiat currency. So number one and seven are similar. One is um, holding it on the sidelines for dry, dry powder. The other, the last one here is taking it as profit and moving it off chain, moving it into a bank account, purchasing something with it. Um, that's strategy number seven. So these strategies are, are uh, different ways that you can use the rewards that you're earning from these DeFi positions. Now, like I promised, let's go into the investor strategy section where I wanted to show you um, this strategy here, which is funding a liquidity pool position with profits from another. And so very similar to what I was just talking about here is that we can use, you know, kind of zoom in here, is that we can use the profits from one position to then fund a new position. And so let's break this down a little bit, is that DeFi positions in this flow chart, one, two, and three are funding a bull run bag, full funding long-term buy and holds, DeFi position five here is funding a lending position like we talked about before. And then number DeFi position four right here is funding DeFi position six. And so what I like to see in the UIG is, is members mapping out their flow chart, what I call like the crypto business flow chart here, where they can visually see where the flow of their capital is going to. And so at the end of the week, when they're collecting rewards, they know exactly what they're doing with them and they're executing on their strategy based on the goal that they've created for themselves. So again, I think it's a really uh, a really important exercise to fully see, visualize, and understand exactly where your money is going. So uh, with that being said, if you haven't joined us in the UIG yet, I, I highly recommend you do. This is stuff that I talk about every single day in there. And it's just, it's such an incredible group of investors and also humans. I really like what we're building over there in the UIG. So if you haven't joined us yet, please do so. Uh, and if not, stay on this YouTube channel, subscribe, like this channel, ring that bell, do all that fun YouTube stuff. And uh, with that being said, I will see you in the next video. Peace.